It's a relatively quiet Saturday afternoon on the corner of Myrtle Avenue and Vanderbilt Avenue in Fort Greene, Brooklyn. Bad news for this struggling bakery. It's been four months since the bakery formerly known as Crumbs was shut down by the Department of Health. But despite signs like these on their storefront, bakery owner Adrian Braxton is on a mission to sell a minimum of 1,600 pies by Christmas. The bakery has been closed since uh, June 28th and we've tried different avenues to reopen and um, this will be my last big attempt to uh, take advantage of the holiday season. It's usually my busy, busiest time. Once a flourishing place of business, the bakery now remains empty. But Adrian, who has been baking since she was eight years old, doesn't plan on giving up now. Just when I was about to throw in the towel, um, one of the business owners in the neighborhood, um, we actually do business for Thanksgiving every year. She orders pies from me. and. Um, she ordered her pies this year because I told her I didn't know if I'd be able to do them. And she ordered them anyway and she said, you can't throw in the towel, you can't give up, you, you just have to figure out a way. Adrian, who has sold 300 pies to date, is depending on loyal customers like Larry Peterson to meet her quota. Uh, since I've been living in a neighborhood for about two years, I've been coming to this bakery every day. Well, not every day, almost every day. <laughs> Adrian, who says she isn't legally allowed to bake on the premises, will be taking orders for pecan and sweet potato, two of her signature pies. The challenge for me is getting the orders, the amount of orders. Um, I will be utilizing a commercial kitchen, and um, there's a lot of oven space, so I can, there's no problem with baking the pies. Just making sure that everybody has, you know, that the pie has a home to go to. For now, however, this neighborhood bakery will remain closed until Adrian can raise the funds she needs to get crumbs up and running again. Reporting from Brooklyn, this is Michelle Gross, New York City News Service.